Okay, we continue. Go ahead. Thank you. Mr. Sledge, when was the last time that you spoke with Shannon Stillwell or SB? 2022. What was your relationship like in 2022, the last time that you spoke with him? Good times. All right. Since 2022, has anything soured the way you feel about Mr. Stillwell? No. I asked you if you know a person by the name of Rodelius Ryan. I failed to ask you if you know a person who goes by the name Lil Rod. I heard him. He's very younger than me, so a lot. Okay. You know. Do you recognize that person to be in the courtroom today? If you just look around. Yes. All right. Would you describe what he's wearing um, for the jury and describe his seat he was in between the lady with the white hair and the one with the dreads your honor would the record please reflect that the witness has identified rodelius ryan it'll say reflect thank you now when did you first meet rodelius ryan or little rod as you know him? we never really had a personal conversation or nothing like that how was it that you came to know of him? Just in a certain area, like the Cleveland Avenue area. When you say in the Cleveland Avenue area, that's not, is that the area that you grew up in? No, I used to go to the park in Cleveland Avenue. What park on Cleveland Avenue? Cleveland Avenue Park. Now, Cleveland Avenue Park, do you call it anything other than Cleveland Avenue Park? No. All right. And when you say you used to go to the park and you met Mr. Ryan in that area, what was the occasion? I used to go over there and play basketball, shoot basketball. Did you play basketball with Mr. Ryan? No. Okay. So what were the circumstances that you got to know who Lil Rod is? Just by people saying his name. And who was it that introduced you to or told you who they Lil Rod never, is? They never, know, was introduced to each other. Okay. Is it then fair to say you don't know him very well at all? No. All right. Please tell the jury how, how well you know Quindaria Zachary. I've been known Quindary Zachary since he was a child. How old is a child? I don't recall on that. Fair enough. Um, do you recall generally about how old you were when you first met? I was young too. 15, 16? Yeah, right, probably around that age. Okay. And did you all ever go to high school or anything like that together? No, he from the same Apartments I'm from. Which are? Capital Home. Are you older than, younger than, or the same age as Mr. Zachary? I'm way, the jury doesn't know. I'm way older than Zachary. All right. Do you know about how many years older? No, I don't know exactly how old Zachary is. Now, you being from the same apartments, what circumstances did you have to get to know someone that much younger than you? I know his mother and his father. Were you friends with Mr. Zachary's mother or his father? Either of them. Were you friends? Me and his father are not friends, but I know of them. Okay. At some point, did you socialize with Quindaria Zachary? Yeah, he watched me grow up. He played best of all the stuff with me. All right. Are you closer to him than his parents, or were you closer to his parents than him when you were growing up? I say his parents. All right. And which parent were you the closest to? The father. All right. Are you no longer close? Well, I have a problem. I just don't see him. He just don't be where I be at. All right. <laughs> what about... Demikian Garlington, how long have you known him? Since he was a child, too. As between Quindaria Zachary and Demikian Garlington, are they around the same age or is one older than the other? 
I think they're around the same age. So it's safe to say that you're considerably older than Demikian Garlington, too? Yes. How did you come to know Demikian Garlington? I know his mama when she first had him. <laughs> Fair enough. How old were you then? She probably like two or three years older than me, so she had him at a very young age. Okay. So we probably was in, she probably was in high school, I was in middle school. All right. So were you friends with his mom or were you? Yeah, his mother's very close. Did your relationship with Mr. Garlington's mom sort of spill into a closeness between you and Mr. Garlington or do you all not have as close relationship as you do with his Could mom? Could you repeat what you said? Yes. Do you have the same type of close relationship with Mr. Garlington that you had or have with his mother? Yes. What about Kenneth Copeland or Woody? How well do you know him? I probably met Copeland probably like 2014. And under what circumstances did you meet Kenneth Copeland? We had a debate, you a had, disagreement. You and Mr. Copeland had a disagreement? Yes. What year? I want to say 2014. Are you comfortable telling the jury what that disagreement was about? Mm. It wasn't that serious. Okay. If that if that's what you said. Just asking what it was about. I don't recall what it was what it was about. So if you first met him when you all had a disagreement, how did you come to learn about the thing y'all disagreed over? Could you refer, uh, repeat that? Yeah. You just told the jury, correct me where I'm wrong. No, no, that it's irrelevance in 401, 402. Your, Your Honor, I'm asking him about his relationship with certain people that are very relevant here in this indictment. All right, I'll overrule it. <clears throat> Would you tell the jury how it was that you came to meet Mr. Copeland over a disagreement? What happened? I don't remember exactly what happened, so I just know we, I remember we had a disagreement. What kind of disagreement? It was just like an argument. Now, is it that you came in contact with him, you met him, and immediately you all started, like, arguing with one another, or something you heard? Tell me out. Relevance, again. I'm, I'm Ju assuming... Judge, I'm just getting to his relationship with Mr. Copeland, and I'm going to segue into what it is now, but I'm asking for this witness to tell the jury to elaborate on something he testified about as it relates to a witness or a person of interest in this case. All right, well, it doesn't sound from his responses so far like he recalls, so um, I'm, I'll, I'll let you ask it this one more way because you're saying that it's relevant, but if the answer's you know, similar to the last one, we're just gonna need to move on. I will, thank you. Do you recall anything at all about how you and Mr. Copeland met beyond that it was over a disagreement? I don't recall. Did the disagreement last? In other words, did you get over it? Yeah, we right in there on the spot. Okay. And so how would you describe your relationship with Mr. Copeland? You said now or uh, then? Starting with after you got over the disagreement, what was your relationship like? I mean, we was cordial. Since different people may have different definitions of cordial, would you explain to the jury what you mean? We had a good say? relationship. Were you as close with Mr. Copeland as you were with Saquon Zachary? 
I treat all of them equal, so like I don't treat no one better than I treat the other. When you say all of them, who are you talking about? You just said Zachary and Copeland. Okay. Both of those two. Then. Just those two. Yes. All right. Would you please tell the jury how well you know Yak or Diamante Kendrick? How good do I know? Yes. I know him as a good, a great person, a good person. I know him. We have a good relationship. Tell the jury when you first met Mr. Kendrick. Mm, I want to say probably around 2013, 14, somewhere now. Where did you first meet him? Under what circumstances? Mm, I want to say, can I say it was a party or something and somebody introduced him to me, but I don't recall who introduced him to me. Did you all hit it off right away? We built a relationship. Are you all close in terms of age? Or are you older or younger than Mr. Kendrick? I think I'm older than Mr. Kendrick too. Probably about 10 years or so. What about Mr. Greer? Quintavious Greer or Umfunk? How well do you know him? I personally met Mr. Grill when he got out 2019. Was that the first time that you came to know Umfunk? Yes. Had you heard of him before then? Yes, I had heard of him. Okay. And what kind of relationship did you have with Mr. Greer in 2019? Well, I got out 2019 too, so when we started seeing each other, we, we built a great relationship. Mr. Williams, would you tell the jury how well you know Jeffrey Williams? I know Jeffrey Williams great. I, have a great. I know him personally, yes. How long have you known Mr. Williams? About 15 years. How did you come to know Mr. Williams? When I started going to the park on Cleveland Avenue playing basketball. Are you older than him, younger, or around the same age? As to Jeffrey Williams? Yes. That's sustained. And would you describe your relationship when you first met, was it good? As good as it is now? Me and Jeffrey always, once I met Jeffrey, we had a great relationship. Did you hang out with Jeffrey Williams? He was rapping at the time, so yeah, I used to go to a couple of the shows, support him. Now you say 15 years ago, around um, what year was that, if you recall? Probably 2009. Okay. What shows of his did you go to around 2009? Nightclubs, teenage club, nightclubs. Did you get to know his family as well? Yes. Have you been to Mr. Williams' house? Yes. How often would you say you visited him at his home? A lot. Okay. Do you know his mother? Yes. And do you know his father? Yes. Are you close with either one of them? We have a good relationship. Okay. How frequently do you talk to Mr. Williams' mother? Mm, I ain't talked to her in a minute. How frequently do you speak with Mr. Williams' father? Not frequently. Were you here at the courthouse yesterday? Yes. 
Did you speak with Mr. Williams' father yesterday? Yes. Okay. How long did you say, would you say you spoke with him? I can't say. Okay. Was it more than just a hi and bye? No. So you said hello, he said hello, and you all parted ways? No. Oh. You may answer. Because you repeat it. Yes. You said it was no more than a hi and bye. So you said hello. I never said that. You said that. I told Thank you. Thank you. I told you that we had a conversation yesterday. I couldn't recall how long it was the conversation. Okay. So it, it went past hello. It was that you all stood yeah. and talked for a while. Yes. Did you all at any point discuss this case? No. Did you come to know Dora <coughs> Dolly Greer through Defendant Williams, or did you learn of them some other way? I learned through Mr. Williams. Okay. Is it fair to say you met them all, his whole family, around the same time? Yes. And your relationship with um, Dora and Dolly, are they the same as your relationship with Mr. Williams? Why wouldn't it be, though? Yes. Thank you. All the people that I've just asked you about, who is it that you've known the longest? I met them all about around the same time. And of all the people that I just asked you about, is there any one that you are closer to than any other? <laughs> uh, to my, me, I'm close to all three of them. Now, we talked about Quindaria Zachary, Demikian Garlington, Kenneth Copeland, um, Jeffrey Williams, Quintavious Greer, Shannon Stilwell, and Diamante Kendrick, as well as Dolly and Dora Greer. When you say all three, what do you mean? You asked me about Dora, Dolly, and Jeffrey just now. You asked me. Now you're talking about all of them. So Thank where you for you correcting me. You're right. I'm asking you about all of the people that I've asked you about today. Of all of those people, who are you closest to? I wouldn't say I'm closer than now. One of them, I have a great relationship with all of them. Okay. I wouldn't divide none of them and put them out there. Fair enough. I feel the same way about one that I feel about the other. All right. With respect to Mr. Marquavius Huey and Quamarvius Nichols, you said you know of them only, right? Yes. How did you learn of those two gentlemen? Just sending them around the city of Atlanta, and so, ain't but so be it. We might bump into each other every now and then. Clubs. <laughs> Were there occasions where you would say you hung out with more than two of the gentlemen that I just named at a time. Could you repeat that? Did you ever hang out? Yes. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to use your mic, okay, so I can even hear that you're making an objection. Form of the question, which gentleman? Uh, uh, Sustain, rephrase, please. Yes. Of the gentlemen, that are Shannon Stilwell, Diamante Kendrick, Rodelius Ryan, Kenneth Copeland, Demikion Garlington, Jeffrey Williams, Quintavious Greer, Marquavius Huey, Quindarius Zachary, Quamarvius Nichols, if I haven't said his name, did you ever hang out with either, with two or more of either of them? What you mean by hang out? You can hang out many ways. So what do What you are mean? some of the ways that you would call hanging out to I this never, I never hung out with Ruby. I never hung out with Ryan. Okay. Been at Jeffrey Shows. 
me and Kendrick at the studio, places like that. Okay. And would you ever, have you ever hung out with two or more of the people in the courtroom today at a time, at the same time? Yes. Okay. Under what circumstances? Video shoots, music videos, what, club. Is it only at video shoots and music videos that you've hung out with? I just two? said clubs. Okay. And which two have you hung out with Hello. at the same time that are in the courtroom today? What you, you said only two, right? Which two or more? That are in the courtroom today. Have you heard that? Mr. Kendra Jeffrey Stillwell. Judge, I'm going to object to the relevance of whether you hung out with several people and asked for a curative instruction with regard to it's not illegal to hang out with anybody in the world. All right, that's a speaking objection, um, and it is overruled. Thank you. Since you asked my definition of hangout, would you please tell the jury what your definition of hangout is? Uh, we didn't actually fully develop that, so I'm going to overrule that objection. Would you please could, tell you, the, could you repeat it? Yes. Would you please tell the jury what your definition of hangout is? We hung out and have fun together, enjoy our life. Okay. Did you all ever work together? Yes. Doing what? Like when we go on tour. And when you say like when we go on tour, who is the we that you are referring to? I've been on tour with all three of them. All three being Mr. Kendrick? Mr. Kendrick, William, and Stillwell. Okay. And what were you doing while you were working? on tour with Mr. Kendrick, Mr. Williams, and Mr. Sealwell. For why is there the record label? I was head of security at once upon a time. Head of security? Yes. Did you receive a paycheck? Yes. And who signed that paycheck? It didn't get signed. It got sent from the company YSL to a bank account. Okay. Did you have employees working under you? No, I only pick, like when we go to different states, I only pick the security guards. And if they weren't doing their job properly, I sent them on to. Where did you pick the security guards from? From whatever security company they had. Okay. When you say from whatever security company they had, who is the they that you are referring to? Whatever security company in that state we was in. Okay. I don't remember the company's names or none of that. How long was it your job to pick security personnel for Mr. Stillwell, Mr. Kendrick, and Mr. Williams? Objection. Objection. Seems faster than I. Did I say that? Who selected security for? Overruled. I don't recall the testimony being that he did security for Mr. Stillwell. I mean, he worked. He said he worked on tour with all of them. I, my recollection is that he worked on tour for all of them as head of security. Well, so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe or ask him flesh that out some more. Okay. When you said that you all, you, Mr. Kendrick, Mr. Stillwell, and Mr. Williams worked together, would you please tell the jury what that consisted of? Well, I worked it for. Mr. Jeffrey William, not Mr. Kendrick or Shannon, William, Shannon Jackson. And just to clarify, you um, mean Shannon Stillwell, who is also known as Shannon Jackson? Yes. Okay. So what were Mr. Kendrick and Mr. Stillwell doing while you were working security for Mr. Williams? Kendrick is an artist. Okay. And Shannon used to be with us, but try to become an upcoming artist. Is it fair to say then that Mr. Kendrick was performing while you were? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. And Mr. Stillwell was 
doing what exactly while you were working? He probably doing all the things like selling merch for uh, Jeffrey Williams, setting up the merch. Now, when you say the merch, what is it that you're meaning? Like selling T-shirts, hats. And were those T-shirts and hats um, merchandise with the name Jeffrey Williams on it or something else? Why well, I said. So when Mr. Stillwell was on tour with you, Mr. Kendrick, and Mr. Williams, was that his only job to sell merch? No, we all did different things. We probably like help with the clothing. We all did different things. We all just supported Jeffrey in any way we could. Okay. 